Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I started, I mean, for 15 years, I've been, I've been working at a hospital. Right. 365 days a year. There's no break. Right. You got to work half the holidays. Right. And then other than that, I worked a restaurant. Well, guess what you do on holiday eves and holidays? You work. Yeah. yeah. So even then, like, I'm missing Mother's Day. I'm missing Father's Day. I'm missing Easter. I'm missing all these things because I'm working. Right. And, like, once I cut down to one job, it's been such a, like, weight off my shoulders because I can have time to go see my family on those days. Right. You know, even if it's catching them before I have to go to work because I still do have to work some of those. But I don't have to work every single one. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm able to step back and, and enjoy Father's Day because I don't have to work. Right. I'm able to step back and enjoy Mother's Day because I don't have to work. Right. Easter. Right. Christmas. I can build my family time around Christmas when right. I have to work if I have to work that. Right. You know, preferably I don't have to work Thanksgiving, but... <laughs> right. You know, but it's still just... Again, you have to build that in. Right. And that, to me, is where you have to push yourself. Right. you got to push yourself as an adult. Right. To, like, get away from being sucked up in the vortex of life. Right. And the vortex of society of go, 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 go. Right. Because that's not how, if you go back in time, it's not how people found happiness. They didn't find happiness in constantly being at turmoil. Right. You know? Like, go back and let's go back and ask, ask, like, some of the medieval people, like, when they're, you know, at war constantly, Mm -hmm. fighting people with swords, you know, like, how happy was that? How much fun was that? (laughs) Because I don't think it was very much fun. And all that time, planning, Mm -hmm. Planning executing. How how we're going to sneak up on them, because, you know, we don't have x-ray vision back then. No. You know, so you have to figure out how to do all these different things. Like, how fun is that? Right. And that's kind of, in a way, what we do in, in our lives. Like, right. I'm not saying we're at war all the time, but there's times where we are. Yeah. You know, you have to keep your head up. You have to be on, you know, have your head on a swivel, and you got to keep your, your guard up. That is perfect um, to lead into the last question, because I know you do have to go. Um, so, with there being moments of temporary happiness, where we have to continue to implement it in our lives, how do you tell somebody that is worth it? When they only see it as a moment, and then it being gone. Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think a lot of times it's again slowing them down a little bit to look outside the box. Okay. And to me, looking outside the box is where you remember, because again. I go back to being a kid. I go back to our imagination. Right. Because when you use your imagination, mm-hmm. you're able to come up with all kinds of different scenarios. Yes. When we live in reality and we don't step out of that reality box, mm-hmm. that's all you live in. Right. It's reality. Right. And that is the crushing, unbearable pain and suffering that we have throughout life. Right. So it's important to step out of that box and right. use your imagination because that's where you're going to come up with your creative ideas for yourself. Right. On how do I look past whatever's right in front of me? Right. Because what's right in front of me right now is absolutely about to crush me or is crushing me currently. Right. How do I get out of the way of that? Right. And you can't do that by staying in the middle of it. Right. You can't do that by staying with it crushing you and, and not looking outside the box, not looking outside maybe your comfort zone. Right. You know? Um, and to me, that's where you have to, that's where I try and push people when I talk about them with that, Mm -hmm. like, or talk to them about that. Right. When they talk about, oh, I'm not happy. How do I get away from this and this and this? And it's like, well, you, it's temporary. Right. Everything in life is temporary. Yes. You know? Yeah. So you have to to take it for what it is. Yeah. And and I always look at it as you have to find a way to, to find something you learn from it. Right. Because that's the way you twist it to a positive. Right. I used to always ask this question in groups. Um, if you're given a question like four minus three, mm-hmm. how do you turn that into a positive or negative four? Right. I'm sorry, not even to add. And so just you know, you're given a number negative four. If you're given that number, how do you make it a positive? And you you know you hear people go, oh, you add eight, you add. Because I'm like, how do you make it a positive four? Right. Specific to what you're looking for, not right. a positive. But specifically, how do you make it a positive four? Right. You know, and you hear people go, oh, you add eight. 
you multiply it by a negative two. You do this, you do that. They have all these different ways. You add, you add one eight times. Right. You know, you add two four times. Right. Uh, all these different ideas and all these different things, and it's like, okay, well, that's a lot of work. Right. When all you really have to do is add one line. Yep. <laughs> that's it. Sometimes we wrap ourselves up with so much work and so much stuff we feel like we have to do right. that we miss the one little thing you can do to make it a positive. Yeah. And so, and to me, what I always put that, equated that to was when you have a negative situation, right. you're stuck in a negative spot. Right. If you learn one thing from that, one small, minor, even it could be a minuscule little piece of advice, and if you can take that with you and move forward, right. you've made it a positive. Right. As crappy as it may have been, as shitty as it may have been, the situation that you were in. Right. If you took one thing from that situation to learn, to move forward to your next lesson, to me that's such a huge victory. Right. Because that is how you can get past some of the horrific things you've gone through in life. Right. You know, is by finding one little thing in each one of them. Right. To move forward, so that way. Like anybody you're around, or anybody that you might influence, or be, you know, again, if you have kids, or even kids you care for, kids you work with, or whatever the case may be, right. or people you work with, you right. know, if you can help them see that one positive thing in their life right. at that moment, that can be the one thing they need to turn their life around, right. to spark them. And that's, that to me is where I find happiness in what. I do for a living now. Right. Because I like to try and help people see that one thing that, hey, you know what? I can do this. I can I can learn this lesson here and I can move on to tomorrow. Right. And the next day and the next day after that. Right. And it's just by slowing down sometimes and going, hey, <clears throat> let's work through this. Let's find that positive. Right. You know, even if it's what type of person you don't want to be around. Right. That's still a lesson you need to learn. Right. It's there. Yeah. You know, and what type of people to be around, who you surround yourself with, that those are all important things that you need to take into account right. as you go through life. Right. You know, like you need to surround yourself with people who push you to be you. Right. And that to me has always been the big thing. Right. Is I've always hated when people told me, you should act like this, or you should do it that way, or you should do this way. Right. You should be this kind of person. Right. Why do I have to be any kind of person, the kind of person that I want to be? Right. I am passionate about what we do. Right. I care deeply about what we do. Right. Because I feel the pain that other people do. I'm right. an empath, and it is evident in the way that I get frustrated at work. Right. Because I see people that don't, aren't taking the care and time to listen yeah. to people that are in a bad spot. Yeah. And that, again, we're there to try and help them find happiness. Right. And are we going to help them find it immediately? No. Right. But we can at least go, hey, why don't you try this? And doesn't that make you feel good for today? Right. You know? Yeah. And that sometimes is what people need to remember, is that if you can make every day good. Right. I'm, I've always been a big fan of it. You don't ever end the day on a negative note. Right. You never go to bed angry. Right. And you never end it on a, on a negative note. Right. So try your best. If you're yeah, if you're if you're in a bad mood. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. Sometimes it is best to just kind of go. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pack it in for today because everything that happens seems to be just not going well. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go lay down so yeah. that way I don't damage anything else today. Exactly. But before you actually drift off to sleep. Right. You have to find something. Right. And again, for me, it's music. Right. Somebody else might be a funny video. Right. It might be flipping through TikTok. It might right. Be you know, watching a comedian. It might be watching a, your favorite movie. Right. Your favorite comedy. Right. You know, um, whatever it is. Right. Lay there, let yourself listen to it, and again, let yourself listen to it as a child. Right. Think about that excitement. Right. You know, so like when I do that, when I'm like in a mood, like I'll go find, I'll go put music on that I listened to as a kid. Right. Just because it takes me back to that moment. Right. It takes me back to that, you know what, carefree, I'm a kid. I'm here to have fun and live life. Exactly. And I think as adults, we forget that from time to time. Right. I have a ton of questions left, but we are running out of time today, so oh, we can we're going to have to cut 
coming yeah. back into this again. I think this is a, again, this is a topic we could talk about forever. Oh yeah. Um, you know, I think we also have some other ones I think we can delve into. Oh yeah. With it. Yeah. Um, again, I just want to say thank you for just agreeing to do this. Yeah. Um, no, this is. This is changing my life. Yeah. Um, honestly, um, just the the approach to it. Um, just stepping outside of my comfort zone when doing this, um, you accepting to do it with me and, um, yeah, I'm having, it's, it's, it's been fun to think about, but yeah. like I said, I have a number of questions we didn't even talk about yet today. Yeah, I do as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just thank you again. Thank you for agreeing to do it. Thank you for, um, the video too. I'll yeah. make sure I put that together as well. Just thank you. This is, this is just life changing. Uh, it really is. Well, I mean, like I said, man, like I think we both have a perspective that people can understand. Whether yeah. they agree with it or they don't like it, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. But I think it's important to get it out there because you never know who needs to hear it that day. Right. And, and to me, that's that's been such a big, big component. And you never know when you're going to touch the right person. And you never know what's going to help change your life. Right. So if hearing our words and hearing our banter back and forth is going to help them. Right. Help them go, you know what, I'm not alone. Um, that's what we need to do. Right. You know? um, we did stay more surface oriented today. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll get into some, some deeper stuff, I think, at some point. But, Definitely. Um, you know, for everybody out there, I hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy. Find your noise. And enjoy things, man. Find some happiness. Definitely. Unnecessary views of self with Arville and Chris. And um, just thank you again. Just appreciate it.